from New York City, I'm Nadia. This is The Rundown, Culture on the Run. I like to give you a route that you can either run if you want to, or you can just watch me run it and hopefully pick up a few things uh, that you maybe didn't know before, or some inspiration for places to go when you do come to New York. One of my favorite things about summer in the city is that you get to see uh, public art, and you don't have to freeze your butt off while you do get to see it. So, taking inspiration from Jeff Koons for this rundown. Let's go. about Jeff Koons, obviously a very well-known uh, American artist. He holds the record for the uh, most expensive piece sold by a living artist in America. At least I think he still does. For about 58 million uh, in 2013, Basquiat broke the record this year for the deceased artist. Jeff Koons is an Aquarian like me. Some people think he's overrated, some think he's incredible because he's known for taking banal objects and inflating them as if they were stainless steel balloons. First up, the red balloon, balloon flower, which was actually put up as an homage to the survivors of 9-11. And it's right outside Seven World Trade Center, which the architects put out here. They, they wanted people to smile when they see it. I smile. I smile when I see it. number of exhibitions in uh, museums around New York. The New Museum, the Whitney, the MoMA, and some of them still have his pieces, but it's great when there are pieces out and about in New York. This next one is kind of out and about. <laughs> you can sort of see it uh, through the glass. <laughs> This is the Balloon Rabbit, and it is in the foyer of this building in 51 Astor Place, near the village, East Village. It was put in there about 2010, and I think I moved to New York shortly after that, and so I've seen it all the time. It's great to walk past and see. <laughs> and actually, the Balloon Dog is the piece that fetched 58 million for Coons. that has nothing to do with uh, today's rundown but it was pride this past weekend they put down uh, New York City put down this uh, rainbow flag <laughs> there's a petition to get that rainbow flag crosswalk to be permanent and it was put up in honor of Gilbert Baker the man who created the rainbow flag that we see on all the LGBT pride items now it's also art art with a purpose <laughs> that you can come to Dominic Anson Kitchen uh, and outside of their ice cream window you could get a cold brew ice cream which really is made of caffeine but it's, it's not open it's only open in the afternoon hi <laughs> I'm an iron woman yes <laughs> who likes ice cream they make good ice cream here Bye. seated ballerina. Uh, it's been up for most of spring and some of summer it will be up but uh, it's uh, reported to be based on a much much smaller uh, ballerina, Ballerina Lenochka, that was done by Ukrainian artist Oksana Zinkrip back in the late 70s or mid 70s uh, but it's inflated and it's held down in place by these uh, strong ties to make sure that it doesn't fly away but uh, I think that would be pretty if she did fly away. If you enjoyed this rundown and if you would like to see other uh, specific ones done here in New York, please do let me know and subscribe to the rundown. Maybe add a comment, tell me what you want to see, if there is anything you want to see. Um, I know I have lots to share and show. So, till next time, bye! <laughs>